Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today another story behind the picture and this time we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph which actually is a poster so stay tuned and I'll tell you how I put it all together. <music> It starts out by having a meeting with a client that I had done several posters for them before. The company is called Whitecap and they're a wholesale construction company. And they asked me if I would uh, do another poster for them and this time it involved where they were selling things for gardening and uh, irrigation and all that. So they wanted to have sort of a, um, a watery theme. Anyway, they came up with this idea and they picked the model, which happened to be a friend of mine, Kelly. She was the current Miss Whitecap. Uh, I don't have a picture of that anymore, so I can't show you what it is, but it wasn't a really, really great idea. So anyway, we, uh, we went and shot the whole thing in the studio, and at that particular time, I was using a four x five camera with real film to get incredible detail. So what I did was I talked to the model just before she was leaving and I said listen I have another idea that I think would be really good for this poster and it'd be really great if we could get our idea something that would be really cool something that you really like because you're going to go out there and sign all these posters I think I have a better idea would you mind coming back tomorrow and we could do a reshoot now don't say anything to the client let's just do it as a surprise and present it to them and then see which one they pick so that's what we did. We got back together the next day in the studio and let me tell you how this particular shot was put together. First off, number one is I made a background which was made out of this fiberglass ribbing that looked almost as if it was like, uh, um, you know, the stuff you get on, on a roof or on the siding, you know, corrugation. Except I didn't want to have it, you know, looking like sort of fiberglass, so I decided to age it down and uh, painted the whole thing with copper and then I oxidized it to give it this beautiful green texture. So I made the background and I made it portable so that I could take it outside of my studio uh, into an, an area that was open shade. Now if you look very carefully you'll see that the picture is completely lit up from top to bottom with soft available light but there's also lots of splashes of other light that's in there as well. Now in order to get that kind of light what I did was I took a mirror one of those ones that you can buy that you screw on the back of a door so you can see yourself when you're dressing in the morning or evening or whatever it is and I covered it with little bits of of cardboard so it would block out parts of the light that were going to be reflected back onto the background by using this mirror so once I did this cookie cutted all the little pieces out and got it to the way I wanted. I set it up that I was able to sort of move and bend around. So as I did this, I was able to splash pieces of light reflected, you know, which was sunlight reflected back onto the background. So it gave me lots and lots of highlights. And you can see in this close up here of Kelly, how the light is sort of splashing around on her. Now, the other idea I went for was the typical garden hose wrapped around the model with spraying herself or spraying away, in this particular case, spraying away. And the great thing about being outside was the, the water could just, you know, go away uh, down the parking lot and into the drain. So it wasn't like she was spraying water in my studio and we would have all kinds of electrical problems. So this is all produced with natural daylight and reflective bright sunlight in order to get my highlights. And then, as I said, we wrapped around this red garden hose and then Kelly just powered this thing up and just sprayed a bunch of water. Now she also got wet too because it's part of the whole thing to have this sort of wet t-shirt thing but we didn't want to offend too many people so we didn't uh, allow it to be completely transparent we just got it sort of wet and sexy. So that's how I piece it all together and again I shot this with a 4x5 so there was incredible detail in the film. This was uh, before uh, digital really took hold and uh, everybody decided that hey we could shoot digital now and we don't have to worry about film. So that's how I did it and it's a fabulous poster and they ran out of those posters when they used them at the World of Concrete which is a big construction thing that happens out in Las Vegas and uh, so I guess the poster must have been really fantastic. Now what happened was when I did present this to the client at the same time he looked at his his idea he basically jumped at my idea and said yeah I think I like your idea better than the one that we we had in the first place so that's that's how I kind of persuaded the client anyway if you like that story you might want to pop over to my website andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog I've got lots of interesting things on there some of the things can inspire you and help you with some of the projects that you might be on and you can also download a book I put together called tips and tricks 
with Playboy Playmate Arena Vaughn Nina on the cover. And you can also find out how I shot that picture. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you very much. That's terrific. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Maybe fire off a couple of questions to me. I'll be only too happy to answer them. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.